Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Steven with Shock Extreme Productions, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Chris LaMartini's new film, the WNUF Halloween Special. Now, you can kind of consider this a late Halloween review, you know, late Halloween special. Things have just been very busy, and now with this new camera that I'm going to be using, uh, hopefully things will be in better quality, better editing, and hope you enjoy. So let's take a look at the WNUF Halloween special, and I'll give you my review, retrospective, everything like that. So enjoy. Okay, so here's the VHS tape of the WNUF Halloween special. Um, there is a DVD coming out. I believe it's out right now. You can look it up on alternativecinema.com and you'll find the uh, you'll find it under there. I believe it's under new releases, but you could also just type in WNUF Halloween Special and it'll show up there. Uh, this in particular was a limited edition 300 copies uh, release, and I believe there are a few, uh, still a few more copies that are available on Alternative Cinema's website. But as you could tell, pretty boring for a VHS, as you could see no cover art anywhere on it and all you get on the tape is just a blank pretty much handmade um, label as you can see it's kind of peeling off and I know a lot of people will be like you know what a way to spend you know that amount of money but I kind of find it cool mainly because of the premise of the film it's almost like something that just came out of the archives from you know a news station you know hidden behind the archives was this tape and I think it's pretty cool you know not bad but you know this is what you're gonna get and you know the DVD is out now so you know if you're not really a VHS fan and you're more of a DVD person then I would recommend getting the DVD over the VHS. You probably get more commentary behind the scenes and everything you'd find on a DVD, especially released by Alternative Cinema. And now I'll give you my own review on the WNUF Halloween special. So if any of you were not really convinced by the bogus VHS that was released by Camp, just brace yourselves because this review gets a lot better than it is. This movie was directed by Chris LaMartina, an amazing independent filmmaker. Most of his work you could find on the Cam Motion Pictures website. You can find it on Amazon, his films such as President's Day, uh, Witch's Brew, but you know, this is something very new that Chris LaMartina worked on. Basically this movie is supposed to be a found footage type movie, much like Paranormal Activity, um, Apollo, whatever it is. I don't really pay much attention to uh, found footage movies, but most notoriously, let's just go with the Blair Witch Project. Um, this is basically a uh, old news special from the late 80s, early 90s, around that era, um, shot on VHS. I believe even Chris Lamartini on Facebook even asked people if they would have a VHS camera available to them so that he could use it for this film. I remember him saying that a while ago, but now I realize that it was probably used for this movie in particular. A lot of news stations pretty much do their own Halloween special, whether it be visiting a haunted house, you know, haunted attraction, or interviewing people who claim to be vampires or witches. This one was pretty much a news crew who decide to investigate this house that is believed to be haunted and was pretty much a site of a murder crime, much like the Amityville home and they believe the house is still haunted. So a news crew pretty much goes in with a group of paranormal experts as well as priests and people who are really involved in, you know, ghosts and just the supernatural. And once they're in the house, all hell breaks loose pretty much. The suspense was great for this movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you watch the trailer, you'll find this to be really appealing to the eye and the trailer really caught my attention and made me want to get it so much more. One thing I noticed they did a fantastic job in this movie was the actual commercials in between the news broadcasts. You'd see them, it's almost like public access television in a way where they would, you know, be showing uh, carpet sales or advertising those pumpkin carving kits you'd buy at Halloween to make a jack-o'-lantern. Just little things like that made the film work so much better you guys have cable, you realize that your cable stations most likely offer 
commercials to local places, whether it be restaurants or hardware departments, uh, car repair places, things like that. And they took this very well, and they did a fantastic job with it. The horror level was very good in this movie. I was surprised how good for a found footage movie this would be. As you know, all my reviews are unbiased, and me actually talking to Chris Lamartini a few times and wanting to review a couple of his old movies like President's Day, which is Brew, you know, obviously unbiased, but what a great job for a found footage movie. If I had to compare it to other films like The Blair Witch Project or Paranormal Activity, I'd probably easily put this in one of the best, you know, of course it's independent, but what a great job they did with this. If I have to give WNUF Halloween Special a rating from 0 to 10, you got my word on this one, brother. I'll give this one a 9 out of 10 easily for this movie. Very, very fun, very entertaining. You're not just going to be sitting there rolling your eyes, waiting for something to happen. Um, unless you're not a fan of TV commercials. If you're not a fan of TV commercials, most likely you're going to skip the commercials and just go straight to the show. So, it's almost like TiVo in a way where you could actually skip through the commercials, but they're just fun commercials and I recommend sitting through the entire thing, not skipping anything. So anyway, that was my review on Chris Lamartini's The WNUF Halloween Special. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like the review and you want to get yourself a copy of it, go to alternativecinema.com. Link will be in the description below. They both have the limited edition VHS copy, and they also have the regular DVD edition, which I'll be picking up eventually and probably reviewing on this as well. If you like this video and you like my other reviews, subscribe, definitely like, comment, share. Just be happy and enjoy for the most part. If you like the way I'm shooting this video now, or if you like the way I'm going to be editing it eventually, definitely stay tuned because i got a lot more coming, especially with this new camera I've got. Still using the same editing equipment, but it's going to be like that for a few more months, so stay tuned because there's a lot more to offer. Until always, guys, see you next time.